Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have more Unity news. Unity have just acquired another company and Unity went public uh, a couple of months back and this seems to be part of how they're going to grow. They're just going to keep buying other companies. And this one is their biggest acquisition to date. And I gotta be honest, I've never actually heard of this company. It is a company called Parsec. And to break it down to the, like, the easiest level, uh, this is a remote desktop software for uh, real-time technology. So I, I guess it really had a bit of a breakout uh, during the COVID lockdown where creative professionals at game studios were using this to give their developers remote access to high quality machines. So it is a real low latency, high speed um, remote desktop software. And if that sounds a little bit like all these gaming software, things like Stadia, xCloud and so on, uh, or Shadow, which I think went bankrupt. Uh, yeah, it's right along those lines. And they just paid $320 million in cash to acquire them. Uh, so Parsec, um, has, Pitch has long been remote desktop without compromise tuned for creatives. It works fine even if your rig has multiple high resolution displays. It'll stream your work in progress artwork without screwing up the colors, play friendly with fancier inputs like pressure sensitive drawing tablets. So basically it is a very high end real time remote desktop. So if you have a game company and you wanna have your companies, uh, your employees able to work from home using an iPad or whatever they have on hand and have access to their really high quality servers on the back end, well, that's what this is all about. And I guess um, the uh, pandemic really helped Parsec grow in that regard. Uh, so yeah, that, they're acquiring them. Uh, we believe more and more creators will need to be able to work anywhere. Uh, they're going to work in groups that are dispersed by distance or they're going to be in a hybrid environment where they might be working in the office sometimes and at home sometimes. I think that's going to mean that those creators are going to need to have access to the power they need on the glass that they have uh, wherever they are. And Parsec is a great example of a company that has deeply innovated in that space. Um, Witten also alluded to being uh, the beginning of a deeper cloud push for Unity. I think we're going to see that Parsec is a great foundational block for a sort of cloud ambition that we have as a company. You're going to see a lot more from us in that particular regard. I also read that as expect them to buy more companies and to buy them in the cloud space. Um, now the kicker here is again, it was just sold for $320 million, which is actually kind of obscene uh, because their funding round was at $33 million. So they've got $33 million worth of funding. The most recent was a $25 million investment last December. So they just went for 10 times their current funding valid, um, valuation, which is kind of insane. But uh, yeah, so obviously uh, you need to see something in this space. Now, if you've never heard of Parsec before, um, I can say it's, it's a remote desktop solution. They've developed their own codecs, um, their own uh, transfer technology and protocols that they named conveniently enough BUD. Um, and it allows you to connect, um, you know, you're seeing here 4.2 milliseconds, decode to 7.7 milliseconds, network 24 milliseconds using H.265 at 19, at a, well, 1080p resolution with a four by four by four color space. Um, you see it's used in places such as Electronic Arts, Blizzard, Ubisoft, uh, Encore Visual Effects, and Square Enix. Uh, so yeah, it, it, there's some definitely nice things there. We've got, so Parsecs for Team, this is how they make their money, and it's 30 bucks a month. Uh, so this is, you know, enabling you to use um, your, if you're an artist, you can use a tablet remotely. Uh, you can get, they say 60 frames per second, ultra high definition uh, with full color mapping on it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see exactly how well this works. Actually, in seeing this, I was really kind of tempted to check it out myself because um, it sounds really quite cool. And you can see here, you can use it personally for free. Uh, individuals pay $8 a month, teams pay $30 per user per month, and the enterprise pays <laughs> uh, let's talk rates. Uh, so you can see what's there. So if you want to have some of the, the high-end stuff, like the dual monitor streaming, you need to get into some of the paid tiers. Same with four to four color mode uh, and pressure sensitive uh, drawing and so on. But if you want to check it out for gaming, uh, which is another big aspect of this, if we go to the very, very top, we go to products and that we're in work right now. We go here into gaming instead, and you're going to see um, you can use this to game at home. And this was something I was going to immediately check out. It's sort of like um, Steam Link or uh, xCloud or NVIDIA. Uh, what is it? It's not Shadow Play. NVIDIA, I don't know, the, the NVIDIA remote playing uh, technology that's name is not coming to me. Yeah, it's, it's exactly along those lines. Uh, but apparently you can check it out for free and you can then run your game on a variety of different platforms. Unfortunately, it does not seem like iOS is on there. Now the downside, and this is where they lost me personally, 
is you go into the system requirements for it, and it's like nothing. Uh, you need to have Windows 8.1 or higher, a Core 2 Duo CPU or better. Uh, they recommend Windows 10, Core i5, a GT, uh, GTX 950. But where they lost me is right here. Uh, so laptops running hybrid, basically that means uh, you've got a uh, integrated GPU and a dedicated GPU, which is basically most uh, Optimus devices. Most game development laptops are going to be in this situation and you can only use integrated graphics for Parsec. So that's where they lost me. Otherwise, I was 100% going to check this out. It looks very, very cool. Now, another aspect of this is going to be their SDK. So the technology they have created, you can actually license it. So if you don't want to you know, do uh, netcode, um, you need alternate low latency multiplayer and so on, you can use their technology. And this is one of those things where I find it kind of interesting as well, because the network technology stack is one of those areas where Unity has struggled for quite a while. Uh, they just latched on to a new open source project, but I wonder if this is ultimately going to be powering uh, their networking layer in the future, because you can actually license their netcode. Uh, the stuff they use to make Parsec work uh, can be licensed as an SDK. It's entirely written in C code. Uh, GPU accelerated video processing is available. Uh, so on and so forth. So allowing linking in seconds from within your game or wheel your game into Parsec Arcade for public matchmaking friends can be uh, playing together instantly, even from a web browser. So kind of they're, they're bringing out a Stadia type technology. And if you get in here, you can actually find out some more details of it um, about how their SDK works. Again, it is all um, C++ based, heading into the R technology section and is written in cross-platform C, uh, no bloat. Uh, they even, uh, even our host side web RTC implementation was custom built without using uh, Google's massive dependency tree. We use our own peer-to-peer -peer networking protocol called BUD, Better User Diagrams. Uh, BUD has been optimized for low latency video delivery based on the data gathered over a three-year period, 97% NAT traversal, success rate, lightning fast adjustment for packet loss and congestion. BUD is the cornerstone of the Parsec SDK. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we see this technology incorporated into the Unity game engine as well. And that gives an area of um, definite extra value uh, to the Unity buying them. I don't know if it gives $320 million worth of value, but definitely there is good synergy there as well. So you can look at them as a remote streaming technology company, a remote gaming technology company, and finally as a technology company providing the technology they use to create all this stuff available for license as well. So if you are looking to, um, you know, build Build your own uh, networking stack in, say, your own game engine. This isn't such a bad idea. Also, uh, Unity sort of built something like this into Unity Engine in the past. I think it was something called Pixel Streaming or something similar to that name. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Parsec fit into there as well. So that is it. Uh, if you want to check out Parsec and you do not have an Optimus um, powered laptop like myself, uh, you can do so completely free. Uh, as you saw, otherwise, there are some commercial plans if you need some of the more high end stuff like. Um, you know, accurate colors and um, tablet support and so on. Now, this isn't the only company Unity has acquired recently. They also acquired Unity, uh, Chili Connect. Uh, they make game networking and live uh, operation servers. Uh, so again, another thing in the cloud space, they acquired Speedtree just uh, last month, uh, which makes, so actually they spot, they bought interactive data visualizations, the makers of Speedtree. And then they acquired Kodi Software, the makers of the plastic SCM version control software last year. And they acquired art engine maker Artfulmatics, again, another cloud-based AI-powered texturing tool I covered it on the channel in the past. So Unity has definitely been acquiring more and more companies every day. And it would seem that their newest acquisition is Parsec, and it's just sort of uh, like they said, they, they tend to do, they, they intend to do more acquisitions so we can expect to see the likes of Unity and Unreal Engine just swallowing up more and more and more companies. As far as I can tell though, after this acquisition, um, at least from the press releases, there's nothing on the Unity site as of yet. Uh, nothing seems to be changing, nothing new. Uh, this seems to be more of a, like an institutional or a foundational investment for the future. So if you are a Parsec customer, as of right now, they just have a new parent company. Nothing changes in that regard. So I'd be curious to hear what you think of Parsec. Have you used it? it does it work as well as something like Shadow? Now keep in mind, something like Shadow uh, or um, Stadia or that, the, there's a high-end server on the other end. Here you're still providing your own computer. This is technology to access your own computers on potentially much less more capable uh, machines on the other end. It's kind of in some ways moving back to the old mainframe model of having really 
strong centralized machines and then since we can like encode video and transfer data at such a high rate you're, you're making it so you can have dumb terminals accessing this stuff so in some ways because we have such so much more uh, capacity in our networking uh, the, the the past is becoming present again so let me know what you think of parsec of this acquisition of unity's future and yeah i will talk to you all later goodbye